Hi and welcome to the Geek Legion of Doom. This is a B-movie review and I'll be having a look at the movie Snakehead Terror. So just before I get into this film, I'll tell you a little bit about snakeheads and why they're kind of important to this movie. So snakeheads are an aggressive type of fish and it basically there was a, a real incident in America where these, these fish were somehow introduced to this particular lake system and it pretty much ate all of the wildlife and eventually what they had to do was actually poison the lake to just kill all, all of the fish in the entire lake. It was the only way to get rid of them because they're very, very resilient fish. And um, so that was actually a true story. So this actual movie takes place two years after that actual incident. Now this movie is obviously not the real story, but it does take place after actual events. And of course the snake heads are back and basically the main sort of plot here is some idiot is throwing sort of human growth hormone into the, uh, the lake with the idea that it's going to try and sort of boost the kind of the local e ecosystem to try and produce more fish to basically help the town's sort of flagging fortunes because since the snake had terror two years ago, obviously, you know, obviously there's no fishing and things like that. Ultimately, things get out of control and these fish sort of grow to giant size. I mean, they average around eight feet we're told, and then, but there's also sort of this giant whale size one that's kind of swimming around there. Reminds me of uh, Resident Evil 4, if you've ever played that video game. Anyway, and um, it's up to our, our hero, who's this of the town sheriff, played by Tron's Bruce Boxliner, I think his name is. And uh, he's kind of this, this lo local sheriff who's moved there a few years ago after the sort of death of his wife. And he's got this kind of teenage daughter who's got this local boyfriend and all that. Anyway, and uh, after there's a few deaths, including sort of the, uh, his daughter's um, boyfriend, he get, basically calls in this uh, biologist who's this, you know, from the wildlife and fisheries department or whatever. And uh, she's, of course, this very attractive uh, biologist around the same age as him, as you'd expect, played by Carol Alt. And... Basically, they together they try, are trying to figure out, you know, what's happened, why these fish have, sort of, have, have come back, and you know why they're getting so big, and you know finding out who is putting this kind of like this growth hormone into the water and why, and there's kind of like a little sort of subplot about why that's happening. But ultimately, the the, the, the kind of main film here is obviously these kind of giant fish attacks, and you know obviously they're getting loads of victims basically killing. It's quite a high body count in this movie, I have to say ultimately trying to find a way to, to, to defeat them. Now, this film is super cliche. Now, the one thing I would say, I haven't actually seen any other movies that actually have snakeheads as a kind of the, the antagonist. So that's its one sort of shred of, an, is of originality, is the type of fish. But everything else about this movie is incredibly stereotyped and just cliche ridden sort of tribe that you're going to just ex expect from the sci-fi channel and stuff like that. The even so far to say like you've got the standard like mayor who wants doesn't want to, to close the lake that's going to uh, you know it's going to affect the tourist trade and what have you and you know that just doesn't believe that there's actually uh, anything wrong and blah 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 blends on the one lone alligator at the beginning even though they, they know that they've had snakeheads in the lake two years previously. So there's there's lots of like really dumb things. Now this film, I've got to say, the one standout thing I would say with this movie is this probably has the, the biggest collection of characters making dumb decisions uh, or, or doing ridiculous things or simply not doing the smart thing that I've ever seen. Uh, pretty much every character um, is, is unbelievable. I mean, I'll give you just one example. You have a group of these sort of teenagers that sort of go into this kind of house after they, they're on this sort of trapped on this little island, and there's one house on the uh, on the island, and the snake gets sort of on the ground because they can kind of go on the ground in this film. And so they go in this house to try and get away from, them, try and find refuge. No one thinks about going upstairs. These snakeheads can kind of slither around on the floor, but they can't walk upstairs or go on the roof. No one thinks about doing that. Nope. So stuff like this, but it's not just them. It's the, the whole characters are just really ridiculous and. Uh, very, very sort of people wouldn't act like this, and it's a little bit frustrating. You can kind of get away with it once in a while, I think, with B movie because it is a B movie, but nevertheless, it was the whole film, and it was kind of a little bit ridiculous at some points. Even the sheriff, who's kind of our hero, just doesn't act like you know a policeman. But this, you know, there's there's lots of things that are, that are just silly about this movie. 
uh, before anyone's kind of like 100 percent about if it is a snakehead and they kind of uh, you know they don't have a fish or what what's going on what a car runs over a whole bunch of them in the road and no one ever sort of, sort of finds the bodies and it's not mentioned again so stuff like that and another strange thing they actually make the fish growl so you, the fish are actually pretty much um, a mixture between CGI and kind of practical effects. Whenever we sort of see them, it's like they're kind of growling like animals. So it kind of is a bit of a strange aesthetic to have for a fish, I have to say. I guess it's obviously just for artistic choices, but you know what I mean. So it was a, it was a really sort of cliche film. Uh, it, it was kind of fun. I mean, if you kind of like your as animal attack movies, I think, you know, it does follow a very sort of standard... Form and I think what's happened is they've just kind of gone right okay well, let's make a, a film about snakeheads and we'll just kind of bug in the kind of standard animal attack scenario and chuck in a bunch of like stereotypical characters to sort of be in this movie I have to say the acting wasn't terrible though I will say that so you've got as I say uh, William B. Davis your Carol Alt, Brooks Botliner and they, they do a reasonable job I have to say I mean, the characters are quite likeable but even though they are cliche Nevertheless, it was a kind of a fun movie, but it really is got a lot of faults of it. So I'm going to give this one a below average mark of 4 out of 10. What are your thoughts on it? Leave me a comment and I will look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.